I think the right to vote is inherent to our democracy. Yes, even for terrible people. Well, those terrible people that Sanders thinks should have gotten the right to vote include the Boston Marathon bomber, along with child rapists and murderers. His plan is so deranged that even these guys are shocked. I was stunned, as you could see, you could see on, on our faces. And the response is, if you have create, uh, committed a crime like the Boston Marathon bombings or if you'd, you've assaulted or abused a child, mm -hmm. I don't think Americans would, most Americans would want people like that to vote. You know what it frames? It frames the proposition for voters as, these people are way out there in the Democratic Party. Wow, have they gone far left. Mmm, when these guys say it. But hey, it gets crazier. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's chief of staff now offering his thoughts, and he tweeted this. What's the reason not to let incarcerated people vote? Shouldn't the people most affected by unjust laws have some say in electing people to change them? So now we're at the point where the Democratic Party thinks the laws that put the Boston Marathon bomber behind bars are unjust. But he somehow fails to understand that if those are truly unjust laws, it's up to Congress to change them. Here to debate, David Bossie, former Trump deputy campaign manager and Fox News contributor, and attorney Alan Orr. Uh, Alan, I'm going to start with you because okay. I, I'd love to get an insight from a Democrat and tell me, is what I just saw a sane proposal for the Democrats to run on in 2020? Right. So I think when you are talking about Bernie Sanders specifically, he's talking about what they already do in Vermont and Maine. So they already have the place where these people can vote when they're even when they're incarcerated. No matter what vote. kind of crime. No matter what type of crime. Murder. So that's today. Rape. Currently today. You can just go ahead and vote while you're still incarcerated. Absolutely. There are some levels in which they might exclude people, but most people are allowed to vote in those circumstances. You so think that's, that's okay. That's his circumstance. You're but asking you think me. That's okay. Yeah, I'm asking you. I'm, and you're asking me what my thought is. Absolutely. Yeah. So I think that there, because of the the prison system that we have and yeah. the prison complex that we built, we need to start making allowing some people to vote. There should be some people that are. Excluded, but specifically after people have done their time, they should be allowed to vote. Absolutely. After they've done their time. Absolutely. Big difference, David. It's different to say after you've done your time, you've proven yourself to be a responsible person. I'm all about restorative justice. I worked sure. on this committee with the president and the people involved. I'm totally for that. But we're not talking about people who have been restored. We're the, talking about people who are sitting there because they murdered people. Th this is outside of the mainstream. This is outside of common sense. Bernie Sanders wasn't talking just about Vermont. He was talking about all people across the country that are incarcerated. So that would include Nicholas Cruz, the Parkland murderer who murdered 16 kids in that school in Parkland, Florida. You know, we have we have uh, the son of Sam, Sirhan Sirhan is still in prison. Are we expecting that these people, the worst of the worst, are now going to be able to vote? It is insane policy, but it is so good for Donald Trump to have to be able to run against that because it, the American people were rejected. Yeah, Alan, speak to that. I mean, yeah, I don't think the American people are going to reject the concept of saying that most people who are in prison never had a trial. Ninety percent of them never were before court. Many of them took bail outs before. I don't think that's even the issue. The issue is Bernie Sanders is saying people who've done evil things. And, and we're talking about Boston Bomb, uh, Boston. So you're America talking Bomb. about the people that are convicted. We know that there are rapists and murderers that yeah. have not been convicted and they vote every day. And we know that these people who were before they were convicted were voting every day. And voting was not essentially a part of their crime. So people can be alcoholics and still be good lawyers. Got it. So but here's the thing. Why is it Democrats want inmates to vote more so? Do they think that more of the inmates are Democrats? Is, I mean, is that what? I don't think that that's really holds through in any court. I think that what they're saying is that people who are been disenfranchised because 30 percent of the population are people of color, but they represent 60 percent of the jail. <clears throat> and so therefore, these laws and these institutions are impacting these individuals David, when, and they're paying taxes outside of that. Because they were convicted in a court of law. That's what our system. They were convicted in a court of law. But hold on. When you are in prison, you lose your right of assembly. You, you lose your First Amendment rights. You lose a lot of rights. You lose your Those, Second Amendment you rights. You lose your you Second Amendment gun. rights. You lose your right to vote. That's what law-abiding citizens get to do. Those that are incarcerated do not, and they ought not to be able to vote, That's and they ought not to. Look, this is a conversation we that we are glad to have. Unfortunately, out of time. Okay. We could talk about this for Absolutely. a long time, yes. and I'm sure we will during the break.